Action. Reporting live from the Rogers Center with my cousin Warby. It's live from last week, episode 74. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today, I was looking online. Actually, going tire shopping because the wife needs new tires for the Mini. And also, in particular, because of this scene from a Laugh from Last Week episode in the past. I pulled the car over. Miss G and I stepped out of the car. Checked out my right front tire. And you guessed it, I had my first flat tire with the Mini. I need to get new tires for our Mini. But for some reason, I just couldn't figure out or remember what size of tires I needed. So I had to go to the locker downstairs, clean it out and clear it out. And although it took me a couple of hours just to go through my locker to find the size of the tires for the Mini, I was able to see what size I needed. So afterwards, I went online to Canadian Tire's website and bought a new set of tires for my car. And I was thinking while I was at it, I might as well take some stuff out of my jam-packed locker and donate it to charity. And unfortunately, I have a couple of casualties of some sentimental things that I have from the past, including several things from previous Live From Last Week episodes, just like these hockey sticks. I'm not really doing too bad considering I haven't done this in over a decade. My disco lights from my bachelor party. Woo! My laser light. Laser lights. theater. <laughs> oh, my strobe light. My ball of light. This one. My Ooh. LED disco light. <laughs> my skateboards from my Skate Toronto skateboarding series. My little flotation paddle boat. And these beautiful seahorse slash crocodile pool noodles. So, sorry to say to my little sister, but those pool noodles that you were talking about in your wedding speech are some of the other casualties that I had to let go at Value Village earlier today. But now, on to the present, where we're at the Rogers Center for yet another Blue Jays game, for which I'm treating out one of my cousins that I haven't seen in such a long time, Warby. <laughs> and the cool thing about today is that the promotion is $1 Looney Hot Dog Days. So at the game, both Warby and I are going to see how many hot dogs we can consume over the set of nine innings. But before we do that, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my Neil Weissick friends that I had back when I was living there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Reham. Happy birthday, Reham. Next, we have a birthday greeting to yet another Weissick friend who was also a CA with me while I was working there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marlene. Happy birthday, Marlene. And last but not least, we've got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends in Boston, of whom I would always hit up and visit whenever I am there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Naja. Happy birthday, Naja. I'm hoping that all you that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, time to catch the game, right, Warby? Yes, ready. <laughs> and time to eat some hot dogs. I got nine hot dogs. Woo! Plus four. Plus four. Nine hot dogs for Looney Hot Dog Day. One for each and every inning. Well, at least that's the goal. So it's just luck, guys. Let's go! Let's go! Hot dogs. <laughs> Ooh, first pitch. Oops. First bite of a hot dog. <laughs> second inning, second hot dog. <laughs> third inning, third hot dog. <laughs> Fourth inning, fourth hot dog. Number four. <laughs> fifth inning, fifth hot dog. Oh. <laughs> Number five. Oh, no, 
Bobby. Get the real sauce. Oh man, six inning, six hot dog, starting to hit the wall. <laughs> Warby, it's getting harder and harder to breathe. Seventh inning, seventh inning hot dog. Let's go! <laughs> Warby, that inning went by too fast. Where are we? Commit number seven. Oh, it's, it's hot dog number eight now. I'm, number eight! I'm starting to see double, guys. <laughs> Warby, I'm feeling like the weekend right now because I can't feel my face. Ninth hot dog in the ninth inning. Finishing up home run. No, home run. Home stretch. That's good. So with the Blue Jays winning tonight and me finishing my ninth hot dog in nine innings, honestly, I'm feeling pretty sick, but it was worth it. So after last night's Blue Jays game and their Looney Hot Dogs promotion, as well as me downing nine hot dogs in the span of nine innings, coming home last night, I felt really gross. So today, in order to burn off the calories from all those hot dogs I had, I got right back on the stationary bike in order to somewhat make myself feel a little bit more healthier. But moving on, I have some other good news to tell you guys about. Remember this scene from last week's episode? But we're still a couple of days away from the air conditioning turning on mid next week. Well, today is a date that we've circled on our calendar for the past month, which is the day the air conditioning comes on here at the condo. And as you can see, compared to it being 32.5 degrees in the condo last week, today is a little bit more comfortable, being that the temperature is 24.5 degrees. And another thing that we're going to celebrate about today, I just wanted to wish my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, my Tito Jan and my Tita Chi, a very happy anniversary. Here's a cheers to you guys and your life together. And I'm wishing you guys more happiness, celebrations, and more wedding anniversaries in the future. I also wanted to let you guys know about this machine that I found over at Union Station last night, which was very new and unique to myself. But yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, nearby in between where the TTC meets the GO train station, there's this thing that actually sanitizes your mobile phones for you. So here's a quick glimpse of how it looked inside. So after that experience, I had a nice new clean phone in my hands. So yeah, it's time to go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Good afternoon, y'all. So as you guys can see, I'm sweating buckets post-workout after doing an interesting session of cycling backwards on the stationary bike over the past 60 minutes. But speaking of bikes, my motorcycle, Rouge, was running on empty earlier this morning. So throwing back to this scene in a previous live from last week episode, it was safe to say that this morning, I set a record high at $16.25 for a fill up on my baby Rouge. Today, I looked at the pumps and for regular gas going for about $2.06 per liter, I filled up on my baby Rouge and as usual fashion, not being able to land flat on the dollar when I fill up my gas tank, the total price on the fill up today was a record high of $20.02. But yeah guys, to be honest, even though I have a motorcycle to keep my gas expenses down, gas prices are still killing me right now. So, I guess it's time to make some money going in for my second of my third night shifts tonight in order to pay for that expensive breakfast that I had for my baby Rouge this morning. But, before I start my commute, I have a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this one is going out to one of my American friends that I met in Mallorca, who entertained both me and my friend Ronnie while we were visiting there and who was an amazing soul to me. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Amber. Happy birthday, Amber. 
just wanted to wish you Feliz Cumpleaños. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, check this out. Remembering how I filled up on gas at $2.06 yesterday, this morning on my morning commute home from work, I had a deep regret as I passed by an SO which had their gas selling for $1.96 per liter. A full 10 cents off per liter, less than what I paid for yesterday. But anyways, enough of my bad luck with the fluctuating gas prices. Before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a friend that I made back in 2011 when I went to World Youth Day in Europe. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who used to treat us to delicious Filipino food potlucks back when I was working night shifts with her. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Juliet. Happy birthday, Tita Juliet. Next up, we have a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends, a legend on the Woodbine Beach volleyball courts. Of whom brings his own lights to the beach so that we can all enjoy some late night beach volleyball with him. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Peter. Happy birthday, Peter. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to one of my former classmates back at university. One of the funniest people I have ever met and would crack jokes when we were in class. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Pav. Happy birthday, Pav. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after heading to Saga this morning and being unable to take a post-night shift nap, we made our way to a Costco in Mississauga for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. I forgot just how big this place could be and just how easy it is to lose the people that you came in the store with. Uh-oh, this place is so big, I lost my family. I also got distracted by a couple of things in there, with the first being this baby. A slip and slide that I spontaneously wanted to buy without the wife knowing. And secondly, the thing that was temporarily suspended during the pandemic, lining up for free samples. Where I got these enoki mushrooms which I scavenger hunted in the produce section for and ate them while I was in there. But finally, after being distracted for several minutes, the wife took my hand and helped me find the exit after I was lost. And while driving back to the Saga house, we heard on the radio that there was a severe weather warning coming into the area. With things like severe thunderstorms, high force winds, and even a possibility of toonie-sized hail. And just by observing on how it looked like outside in the backyard, Honestly, I didn't even want to leave the house. But once that system finally blew over, the wife and I made our way to the Port Credit Go Transit station and took advantage of this deal, the Go Transit $15 Weekend Pass. A promotion where you can get unlimited travel between two Go stations on the Go Transit system for only $15 for the whole weekend. So we decided to make our way downtown to catch the Blue Jays face Joey Votto and the Reds. And while I treated her out to a ticket to the game, she treated me out to this big, beautiful bucket of an investment purchase that I have always wanted. A huge refillable tub of some Rogers Center popcorn. And get this, for about $13, this baby can be refilled anytime that you go to a Blue Jays game as long as you bring it with you and have the bucket in a clean and decent shape. And so with my new bucket of popcorn, the Blue Jays pulling out the win and witnessing Bo Bichette's 50 and 51st career home runs, we saw the rare sight of the Rogers Center roof being opened midway through the game, of which I caught over the span of 10 minutes in a time lapse just for you guys. And after getting home and washing my new favorite Blue Jays bucket so that I can use it tomorrow as I have tickets to Sunday's game as well, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends back when I was at HT. 
This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jenny. Happy birthday, Jenny. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, I think it's time to try to catch up on some sleep, and I'll just reunite with you guys again tomorrow. After dropping off the wife at a nearby Iglesia Ni Cristo Church in Saga, then hitting up Sunday Mass at this South Mississauga Church, the beautiful St. Christopher Roman Catholic Church, I realized that I had to leave Mass early as I had a 1 p.m. train to catch from Port Credit. And in typical fashion, guess who missed their train by a matter of mere seconds. So with the extra time that I had, I decided to hit up a local Port Credit Harvey's, order a Harvey's Junior Burger meal, and take my time eating my lunch before returning to Port Credit to catch my 1.30 train. So yeah, I'm back here in downtown Toronto to catch the finale of the Reds vs Blue Jays series with a friend that I haven't seen in a long time since this last encounter. Yeah, What's another on? random encounter. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> All right. All right. See you. See you in the hills. <laughs> See you on the hills. So yeah, we'll meet you inside the dome and reintroduce ourselves to her. There she is, being a tourist in her own city. <laughs> Henley, what's up? <laughs> so after a decent Blue Jays game, where I was able to fill up my refillable popcorn, treat Hanley out to a 500 level Blue Jays ticket, try some fries and chicken fingers, and have my first baseball game beer of 2022, along with a couple of shout outs to my cousin Faye. You're missing out. Faye, you're missing out. <laughs> Unfortunately, with a late in home run by Etobicoke's own Joey Votto, today the Jays lost 3-2 and couldn't sweep the Reds. But before we wrap it up for the day, I have a quick birthday greeting to a fellow former YSIG member. And this birthday shout out goes out to you, Megan. Happy birthday, Megan. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, I want to wish everybody out there a happy Victoria Day. But before we get to today's festivities, we're recalling the last time I saw the renovations at the Saga home. We checked out the new renovation updates of the kitchen. Ooh, what is this? The fridge is here. Sink is here. Stove is here. Well, last night, guess who recently got a new microwave? As well as a new light fixture in the kitchen. And comparing it to previous weeks on how it looked like, here I am revealing how the kitchen currently looks like. But yeah, only a few more long weekends to do some more work in the kitchen and the renos should be completed. Right, Tita? Anyways, throwing back to this clip a couple of weeks back, where on that rainy day in May, I was actually making a secret Facebook Marketplace purchase. Buying this used set of chairs and a foldable table for only 20 bucks. So, I broke out the set earlier today because I planned for a couple of us to go visit Lula, visit her site, and go play some Mahjong. But, before going and visiting Lula, we started off our day with getting some Hakka food with the family. After playing some mahjong with the family and having Lola watch over us while we played, we gave a ride to my cousins Warby and Warma 
to a local Viet food place in their area to celebrate my cousin Warma getting a promotion at her work. But yeah, now, tonight, I'm back in Scarborough to witness some sights and sounds of the Victoria Day fireworks from the comfort of our condo. And here's a sample of it of a quick little time lapse that I took earlier this evening. But now, I'm gonna catch the rest of this beautiful fireworks show that I have here in the background. Wow. Wow. And wrap up this week's episode right now. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching this week, feel free to follow Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalko POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.